All right, yeah, welcome back to some more Magic Arena, and today we're going to be jumping into some standard with a sweet little brew I like to call Mutato. It's going to be built around uh, some Ikoria cards. It's a deck that I've been trying to build for a long time, and every time I've built it, it's just not been all that great. Uh, but I think, finally, thanks to the addition of a new Kaldheim card, Open the Omen Paths, a card that I rate higher than most people, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, thanks to this card, we actually have ourselves a sweet little combo brew that can win as early as turn 4. So Open the Omen Paths just doesn't look very interesting at all. It's basically a ramp spell. For 3 mana, you can add 4 mana. 2 colour of any one colour and 2 colour of any other colour. But you can only use that to cast creatures and enchantments. Thankfully, our deck is a creature based deck. So. Off of the Omen Paths, what we can do is we can take something like Baby Godzilla, the Mutate Synergy here. Mutating is essentially attaching one creature onto another to give it the ability of that mutated creature plus everything else that has mutated before it. So Baby Godzilla essentially gives uh, cost reduction to mutate creatures, and it also says whenever you cast a creature, uh, if it had mutate, draw a card, then discard a card. So we get something like Polywog Symbiote out, and then we attach Vadrock, Apex of Thunder, for the sake of uh, those who don't like the Godzilla arts. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it also looks like. It could be this one, or it could be this one. This is the baseline one. Uh, Vadrock, Apex of Thunder, is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with Flying and First Strike. The important part, though, is that it has Mutate for 1 hybrid azorius and then double red it says whenever this creature mutates you may cast a non-creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost so for four mana we can mutate onto a creature like baby godzilla loot if it is that creature and then cast open the omen pass for three mana that three mana then gets converted into an omen paths cast which generates four mana two colors or uh, two of each color. So then what we could do once we've got that Vadrock in is we can mutate with a Lordrakis. It'll trigger the Rodan or the Vadrock side again, which allows us to then Omen Paths, generating four mana again. And we loot the way through our deck. We card draw the way through our deck. Eventually, after playing all of our mutate cards for free, we also have See the Truth in here, but I'll get to that in, in a second. Uh, the win condition is going to be Insatiable Hemophage uh, for two and a black to mutate. When this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. So this plays perfectly into our Vadrock combo plan of basically mutating for free thanks to Open the Omen Paths. So, that's the combo. Let's talk about how we get there. So, as I said, we can win as early as turn 4, because Baby Godzilla does give us cost reduction on Vadrock, uh, which means we can just pay Hybrid Azorius Red Red, so 3 mana generating 4 mana with a Baby Godzilla out, and then drawing and discarding as we go. If we get multiple Vadrocks onto the same creature as well, that means we can then cast Open the Omen Paths, plus another spell. The other spell is going to be either Valakut's Awakening, which is in our land base, which is really nice. It means we can make our land drops and also have a useful spell later down the line as well. So it can be a tap land. Or it can say, put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, and then draw that many cards plus one. So it basically replaces your hand and cycles the way through. So we can cast that for three mana. Or what we can do is we can use See the Truth. In the early game, it allows you for two mana to look at the top three cards of your library and put one into your hand, the rest on the bottom, uh, in any order. However, if it was cast from anywhere else, which is what Vadrock will do when you mutate, you just put all three of those cards into your hand, which means this is a mutate for two to three mana, probably, and you draw three cards every single time you do that. That gives you access to more mutate creatures and then turns off that whiff potential of the deck. Once we've got an excessive amount of cards in our hand, it uh, benefits us actually to then suddenly start going to the Valakut's Awakening uh, because we don't want to be drawing too many cards. We don't want to deck ourselves. And Valakut's Awakening is still going to cycle the way through the deck similar to the way that See the Truth would work. However, we're not drawing additional cards as we go. The final piece, the one that looks very out of place, is going to be Miscast. This is basically just to protect our combo. For one blue mana, 
for an instant, we can counter an instant or sorcery spell unless it's control at phase three. So we can play around uh, Blood Chief Thirsts, Eliminates, and Heartless Acts. Those are the ones you usually see. Uh, the only thing this doesn't really hit are um, Elspeth Conquers. Uh, well, yeah, Elspeth Conquers Death to a certain extent as well. Uh, any of the saga based removal ones as well, Binding of the Gods. Um, Elspeth's Nightmare was the one I was actually thinking of. The Saga-based ones are the ones you have to come um, to worry about. So it does give us a bit of a weird Soul Tie matchup with the uh, Emergent Ultimatum deck. Uh, they just win on turn 7, so we do have to get in there. Uh, but if we can get our combo going, we can do it as early as turn 4, which is around the time when our opponent will not have their Emergent Ultimatum combo going. And it's not even the worst thing in the world if they do get it going, because usually they do Alrun's Epiphany, uh, Tybalt, and um, Kiora Best of Sea God, right? So you just don't give them the extra turn. They get their Tybalt, they get their 8-8. They do basically nothing. You untap and combo off. So you can still go off after they've pulled off their little game-winning combo, which doesn't win them the game on the spot. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, though, uh, pretty... Expensive mana base here. It's 21 lands plus the four on the Valakut's Awakening, so slightly more lands than maybe we require, but it honestly does us a lot of good. We are base, is it deck? Uh, so we've got two islands and a mountain. Uh, we do want to have access to off color cards as well, because we might need to hard cast our Vadrock in order to mutate onto it. So we do need the white mana. So we've got that in the blue white pathway. And also the white-black pathway. This is probably the worst of the pathways, hence why it's a two-off. Uh, we need that on the off chance that we have to mutate the Humophage without an Omen Path trigger. Sometimes you don't know what you're drawing off the top, so it can be a little bit of a high roll in that sense. Uh, so having your land drop ready to go at, a, at any point to know what side the pathway needs to go on is really important. So don't just make your land drops for the sake of it when you're comboing. Always leave it until the last possible moment if you absolutely can because you never know what you need until you need it. Uh, same thing goes for the pathway. Blue-black here. So we've got our um, white-black, blue-black, and then I think we've also got black-red here. Yeah. Anything that generates uh, the black is a two-of. Everything else, if it's, you know, base is it, it's going to be a four-of, essentially. But yeah, that's essentially the list. I won't waste too much more time. If you do enjoy the content, though, I'd really appreciate it if you do hit that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get to the, con uh, the content. This video is brought to you by the generous support of our wonderful patrons and channel members that you see here. If you'd like to support the channel and get access to cool content like sneak peeks, bonus videos, polls on future content, or access to a personal deck critique from myself every month, then hit the join button down below or check out the Patreon link in the description. With all that said, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, we're in, and we've got double baby Godzilla here, uh, which probably makes this combo-less hand keepable, because we can stick a Siege Ashrock to puss on it, loot, or maybe even a Lordrakis, something like that, and go from there. Uh, our land base looks pretty good as well, we're going to stick this one on blue, and then, yeah. This one on blue. Up against mono red. Could get a little bit spooky. They're not the snow version though, so we don't have to worry about um Frostbite. Miscast, eh? Well, that might have kept me alive. Let's go Polywog Symbiote. So we just need Vadrock and open the omen paths in our hand at some point before dying. And then we might stand a chance here. It's going to be a tricksy one. I mean, maybe we can even just like top deck a Hemophage and start draining that way. I'm trying to think. It's a uh, 3-3, three, three, so it doesn't exactly dodge like Scorching Dragon Fires and nonsense like that. Alright, our opponent has drawn the card I wanted to draw, but maybe they'll put it into the graveyard by casting it here. Let's go to 14. Nope. We did get an omen, though. Okay. So, opponents got Embercleave in their hand because 
you know, it's apparently statistically impossible for your opponent not to have Ember Cleave by the time you're ready to die. Um, we don't have another blue, so I can't go Baby Godzilla into Mutate Sea Dasher Octopus. Actually, no, I can. I can do the open the Omen paths. Let's go blue, red. I think we've just got to go for it, to be honest. I just don't know if we can win from there though, because we need three mana, right? I need to I need to actually get lucky with Sea Dash Octopus here into Vadrock. And we didn't get that. Let's go Lordrakis next. Another Lordrakis. Alright, dump a land. Over, please. And then return Omen Paths to our hand. Right, I've got to pass. I think I've got to not block, and if our opponent has Ember Cleave, like we all know they do, then I'm just dead anyway. Okay, well, they didn't hit Vadrock, so that's nice. Then they Ember Cleave me. Like, we know they were always going to. So yeah, I block Anax, they kill my Lord Rackus. Oh, they just had it all. If I blo block Anax, they kill my Lord Rackus. If I block anywhere else, they kill my Lord Rackus, or just kill me by putting it on Anax. So I don't win either way. I was just playing to, playing to win there, not to play to not lose. Is what it is. Ember Cleave. Why is that card not banned yet? All right, I go first. We got Baby Godzilla and the means to cast Baby Godzilla. Uh, we don't have Vadrock or open the Omen Paths, but Valakut's Awakening is here. I'm going to keep this. Baby Godzilla is kind of a combo piece in itself because it does the looting for you, which gets you a long way. Uh, I think we're aiming towards casting Valakut's Awakening here, and since I can cast Baby Godzilla on its own, then I think we want to be doing that. Forest and Lovestruck Beast. It's not really going to be one of those matchups where they kill my stuff, so I could actually slow them down like crazy by miscasting that. It's the weirdest miscast our opponent will ever see. <laughs> No counter spell has ever been used in such a fashion. Next turn, unless we're drawing Omen Paths or Vadrock, we're going with a pathway into Awakening and dumping our entire hand here. Maybe they've got removal. If they go red and then Scorching Dragonfire, that would make sense. Who knows, though? They're, I think they're a little bit lost now. They're like, what do I do? <laughs> My only turn one play every single time I play this deck has been countered. I don't trust anything anymore. Gonna go for it again. This time it resolves. Ooh, we did get Omen Pass. Alright, so that's a card we're not gonna be dumping. Let's put you on white. Let's get rid of these. We really need Vadrock, most of all. Uh, Dreamtail Heron's not too bad, though. Get him for one. We're a damage-based deck, so... You know, the best amount of damage we can get in prior to comboing, the better. And our opponent can play their Lovestruck Beasts. I can then Dreamtail Heron over the top to draw a card. Which is quite nice. Uh, this is going to cost me four, actually three, so six total. If I play Pathway on black, I've got five with the Omen Path. So I don't think I want to be doing that just yet. I am going to go Dreamtail Heron though, because I want to get that four toughness on. Oh, baby, there's a Vadrock. So if we'd have gone for Omen Paths, we'd have won, I think. 
the question is now, do I want to keep Rodan or Vadrock or Omen Paths? Yeah, I could get rid of Valakut's Awakening, I suppose, and then open into it. Um, I mean, I can stop one point of damage. I don't really care to. I kind of want them to not kill this Dreamtail Heron, so if I give them less incentive to do that by making it not block, I think that's probably in my best interests. So the best thing now we could draw is going to be a land, I think, because we're going off. Okay, that's a baby Godzilla. So this isn't cost reduced, but this is. So we're going to go open the Omen Paths. I think this is where we combo. Blue, red. If I went with baby Godzilla, then we'd have blue, red, black. We need red, red for that, so we can't do that. We have to go Vadrock first. Draw a card off the Heron and the baby Godzilla. And get rid of Valakut's Awakening here and go under. Alright, time to pop off. Omen Paths, cast. Two mana, red, blue. Draw a card. Uh, we're then going to go with Baby Godzilla. Cost reduce the Dreamtail Heron. Go again. Draw a discard. Get rid of land. Draw a discard, another Vadrock, nice. Draw a card, draw a card. Also, recast Omen Paths. Go blue, red. We've got black open just in case we do get a Hemophage. Sea Dasher Octopus. Uh, this is where we go for Valakut's Awakening, I think, on the other Rodan. So, draw discards. Draw discard. It's a Law Drakis. Uh, let's get rid of Baby Godzilla, I guess. Under. So, Valakut's Awakening without paying its mana cost, and Omen Paths without paying its mana cost. Blue, red. Cast that, get rid of the pathway. Yep, the rest are just going to redraw anyway. Draw. Draw. Sea Dasher Octopus, do it all over again. Get rid of a mountain. Get rid of a pathway. Under. Looking for that Hemophage. So we'll have an Awakening. We'll have an Omen Paths. Blue, red. Redraw you, you, and you. Keeping the mutate creatures to keep the combo going. Miscast to stay alive here. See the truth going into the yard would be nice. Alright. So, discard. Discard. Under. Probably still go for Valakut's Awakening over See the Truth, though, because we go a bit deeper with it. Uh, Omen Paths. Blue, red. Valakut's Awakening. Get rid of you, you, you. They don't have mana for miscast related shenanigans here, so let's just keep going. There's the Hemophage. 26 cards left. <laughs> Alright, so now Hemophage comes in. Every time we do this loop now, we drain our opponent. Get rid of a land. Get rid of a land. Under. Now we want to draw as little cards as possible, to be honest, so... Let's do that. Uh, let's do that and say no to it. So, decline that. This one. And writing's on the wall for our opponent. We are draining as we go. I didn't actually check how much we're draining for each turn, but it goes up by one every single time we do this loop. 
it would be eight next turn. So we were basically two triggers off, 23 cards. So we weren't going to deck ourselves with just baby Godzilla uh, triggers alone. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice first start for this deck. Our well, second start, actually. Mono Red destroyed us first. <laughs> second start. Okay, so we've got a Yorion list, the way to do See the Truth to find some pieces. We've got Omen Paths as our Mana Accelerant, so we just need a Vadrock here. We've even got a Miscast as well, which could see some play. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. It's not the craziest of hands by any means. But let's go Island so we can potentially Miscast. Next turn, we can see the truth. If we want to put a creature down, it's likely to be something like a Sea Dasher Octopus. There we go. Alright, so we'll put this on red so we can cast Omen Paths and Lordrakis if we draw our land. Ketria Triumph for our opponent. I'm thinking maybe we go with Rodan. We need a way of properly digging through our deck, though. So I don't think we go off immediately. Yeah, let's take the white pathway here. So yeah, do we go with Rodan here? If I was to play Rodan, I wouldn't be able to do anything off of the Omen Paths, because I'd be one mana short. These are both Mutate 2s. Uh, and I won't be able to leave up and miscast mana either. So basically I am waiting on a land at this point. If I thought they weren't going to kill Rodan, I would play it here. We could maybe go with Lordrakis. Let's play a Lordrakis instead, see if it eats some removal. Not too fussed if that one dies at all. And if we draw a land, we might be in a lovely little spot. This is four color. Maze Mind Tome. All right. So, do we win? That's the question. I think the answer right now is no. No, we don't. Uh, I could see Dasher turn Lordrakis into a card draw engine. It gets me a little bit deeper into the deck. Maybe I can draw a blue source. That would be the best thing. So we could miscast. And then it's going to force me to bring back See the Truth as well. Which is not ideal, but here we are. Well, hey, look at that. Beautiful. All right, we're going to pass because we actually want to protect this Lord Rackets at this point. Eliminate. Nope. Nice try. Oh. I don't think we were going to win, but we were going to get pretty close, I think. Um, reason being, next turn, we draw a random card. We don't really know what it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to get in for one damage first, so we can get that extra card, because you always want that extra information before you go off. After that, we go open the Omen Paths, generate enough mana to play Rodan. Rodan comes in, Omen Paths makes himself, you know, nice and free. The Omen Paths puts black on, so we can do the Hemophage after that. And then, it's maybe a mystery, actually, after that point. It's not exactly the best start for us to go on, but our opponent clearly had enough. In ranked as well. Clearly had enough. I think they assumed that I was just gonna like mono blue tempo them to death with the uh with the octopus side, which is it's fair enough. Most people don't like playing against Curious Obsession on uh on a one one that can't be hurt, like myself. So understandable. Next game. Yeah. 
You go first. We got a Valakus Awakening to improve this hand. Miscast to do some protection. Could probably dump, dump that in uh, Hemophage somewhere for now. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. And we'll start with Blue Pathway for Miscast potential. I doubt we'll use it. You never know, though. Could get a Love Struck Beast again. Wow, okay. That's a thing. Alright, put this one on red. Plan on working our way to a Valakut's Awakening here and dump the less than ideal cards to try and find our combo. So we're looking for Open the Omen Paths, Poliwog Symbiote to a certain extent, and Vadrock. Another Awakening's not too bad. Uh, we'll put this on white just in case we have to cast a Vadrock. And then I dare say we might as well just end step a Valakut's Awakening. I want our opponent sweating over what I'm actually holding. Question is, how much of this hand do I get rid of? And I'm almost tempted to do, like, everything for a full redraw. I think that might not be too bad. Although this is definitely a removal deck, so a miscast could be useful. We'll fill a haven. Into maybe another one. Into a shovel. Shovel is definitely a reason to have miscast open at all times. So we will get rid of everything, but... Because we don't really need these cards. We got our baby Godzilla, we got our Rodan. We have no double blue, though, to protect him. It's fascinating when that happens. Absolutely fascinating. Alright, that's a pathway. And certainly not playing out one here for the sake of our opponent just getting a shovel trigger. Because I think it happens, yeah, on their upkeep and then they just remove in response. We don't want that. Honestly, the longer our opponent takes to kill us, the better. Because we don't really have a combo here right now. And I don't want to be doing, like, baby Godzillas for the sake of trying to uh, loot into it. I need an Omen Paths first. Our opponent's only putting one point of damage on board right now anyway. So they're actually Sultai with a port of Carfell. Okay. Okay. There's an Omen Paths. I mean, we're only really missing, at this point, the ability to, I guess, rebuild if our opponent has removal, because I think one miscast isn't enough anymore. If they play a two-drop removal spell, then we're in trouble kind of thing. So I think we just keep going. I think we wait until we've got more mutates available to us. Heartless Act and Eliminate and things like that are just almost guaranteed to happen. I want to see our opponent do a full tap out to pressure me. I've got 18 turns of this. They're going to need to do something a little bit more than that, because otherwise I can probably build a combo into another combo. That's what I'm looking for. That right there is a mistake. Alright. So. From here. I don't know what kind of land we're going to need. We might need a black mana, so I'm not going to play one out just yet. I uh, want to make sure that I've got double red and blue for Rodan. I suppose I should be playing you, actually. Um, let's go red, blue. So have I made a critical error where problems start? No, not really. Because I can use the blue here, and then I've got the double red and blue from my other pathway. Yeah, that's right. They'd need, like, unsummon, really, to stop me now. So now on Symbiote, we do some double looting. I feel like double looting gets me there. Get rid of an island. Get rid of a miscast. Over, please. And then we cast the omen paths. 
So we have more mana to work with. We're going to go blue, red. Lordrak is next to do the same thing. Looting and discarding twice over. Get rid of an island. Uh, Valakut's awakening, eh? Um... I think I have to cast that, don't I? Because I've whiffed. I've got one in the yard. I need a miscast in hand. This needed to be blue, really, though. Oh, dear. Uh, maybe we'll have to do... Under. We might have to do See the Truth. So, return to my hand. Actually, See the Truth first. Draw three. And return Valakut's Awakening. Cast that. We need... Yes! Okay. That's all we needed. So now we can do this for two mana. This will start drawing us cards instead of looting cards. Draw discard. I need that black. Draw discard. Another omen pass. Can't really use that. Over, please. Alright, instance and sorcery without paying its mana cost is going to be omen paths. And one to hand. We'll put miscast in hand, I suppose. We'll loot it away later anyway. Uh, blue, red. Draw a card. It's going to be a see the truth. One mana sea dosher octopus. Loot discard. There's a sea, the hemophage. So we'll get rid of the miscast. Get rid of the miscast, because we know our opponent can't use it. Under. Uh, without paying its mana cost, it's going to be the omen paths. And one to hand, it's going to be that miscast. Uh, let's go with... I think blue... Well, we'll just put black in there, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We've got this blight uh, pathway here that could do it, but... Better safe than sorry. Maybe I've had a bit of a brain fart and I've forgotten that I've already played my land drop for some unknown reason. Alright, under. So now we're draining every time we do this for five. So we only have to do this four more times uh, without paying this mana cost. This one right here, we're already netting mana. Uh, bring this miscast back. Blue, red. Uh, a Rodan. Alright. It's always fun when you get to double Rodan. Or triple Rodan also seems quite fun as well. Not gonna lie. Ooh, another Hemophage. Alright, under. Opponent with four removal spells in hand. You already know. You already know they got four removal spells. Alright, I'm gonna play an Omen Paths. And just an Omen Paths. It really doesn't matter. Uh, miscast a hand. Drain you. Do a bit of this. Blue, red. Bit of this. Black, red. Draw a card. Double Hemophage for one mana. Loot discards. 24 cards. And under. So that's double, that's 14, and that's lethal. Just pick whatever. Uh, that one. That one. Here we go. Minus five. Cool. Yeah, just needed a window of opportunity while our opponent wasn't really pressuring us to find our combo potential. They gave us the opportunity, which is their worst mistake possible. And if you got a handful of removal, uh, you kind of want to be uh, keeping it up if you think I'm going to be using it. Uh, I guess I didn't show them any creatures at all, so that might be a reason why they went with the Massacre Worm. Which was definitely their downfall. Uh, but they should have found some sort of uh, pressure that wasn't going to completely tap them out and let me combo off. Because usually if your opponents do nothing for about five or six turns, including not killing your creatures, something spooky and suspicious is up. So, got to keep that in mind for sure. And yeah, just goes to show the power of this deck when it's been left alone. <laughs> Next game.
All right, we go first. We have, I mean, this almost feels like the dream hand. We got perfect mana, we got the omen pass and see the truth to find our combo pieces. Baby Godzilla is the perfect mutate target as well. So we, we just need, we just need Vadrock and then we're good to go. So let's play an island, pass the turn. I think we'll play out our basics first. You never know what side these need to be on. I do need double red in this matchup to get the Vadrock into play, so. That's a black land. I'm going to go with the Mountain See the Truth here. Try and find Vadrock. Didn't find it, but I'll take a Dreamtail Heron. Never know. That might actually be okay, because we can do... Three mana here, turn this into four, this is two, this costs three. All right, so we're a little slower on that. Opponent hits a miscast. Well, we don't want to see that held open, but it can't, right? So that's okay. Uh, let's have you on white. And then we're going to Valakut's Awakening here and get rid of some less than ideal cards, I think. Double Faceless Haven is very good for me. Alright, please do not hit Vadrock. Lord Rackus is fine. If they want to play that and tap out, I'd feel pretty happy about that. So I think our Valakus Awakening is getting rid of double land here. And that might just be it, honestly, because I think Godzilla into baby... Dream Tail Heron <laughs> might be what we want. Pressure's on. That being said, if I got open the Omen Paths, it's three mana to mutate from a baby Godzilla. So I have five mana. Yeah, if I just get Vadrock then we're also just fine, so maybe I get rid of more. Oof. Oof! Four, five, six, seven. Alright, let's just play a land then. We'll have to Awakening again. Drawing four this time. Getting rid of more lands. Uh, if this is... This is Embercleave, right? So that's 10, 12, 13. Hit a land, good. Can't do anything about that. The big problem is they've got miscasts. So, like, this doesn't resolve. So, it actually just comes back to bite me. There's no reason for them not to cast it. But I have every reason to cast it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, chat. Um, that's a thing. Two mana. Blue, red... Baby Godzilla. This could be it. This could be it. Nope, never mind. Ah, <sighs> flooded out like crazy here. That is so disappointing. I just want to see what else is there. I mean, we're dead. If you draw all the lands in your deck at the top, then you're just not going to win, so... I mean, even these weren't mutate creatures. The Hemophage, if this was a black land, would have been fine. This couldn't have gone any worse than it did, I think. Opponent hitting that miscast was really brutal. I don't think it changes anything, just based off of the 17 lands we just drew, but... Yeah. Oof. Alrighty then, this hand is uh, it's a thing, 
So Yori on list as usual. And yeah, we're going to keep this one. I'm unsure whether or not I should be playing Valakut's Awakening. Now I'm not. Now I'm not. Okay, we'll play an island pass. It's the soul tie list as usual. Yup. Pathway and then shove something into hand. Okay. Uh, we're going to put this on red and then pass the turn. So what do we need with this hand? We need a way of generating card advantage. Uh, cultivate. I am going to use that because this is a deck that wants to get to 7 mana and wins on the spot when you do that. So that's technically card advantage from the Dreamtail Heron. The problem we face is that our opponent goes land into binding. So like playing Vadrock is just a bad idea in my opinion. So I think we're just going to Valakut's Awakening. We're going to get rid of the redundant cards here. They could just go to hand. Lovely. All right. So we don't need that. We don't need that. Technically, we don't need this. I want to dig for more important things than that. Another Awakening and a See the Truth. Um... What about a Valakut's Awakening, dig a little bit deeper, even dumping the pathway? Because we're probably going to draw 19 lands anyway, right? Yeah, I think a, a bigger dig might be what we're looking for. I mean, there is a See the Truth there, but without, like, double uh, Vadrock, we can't cast that from our graveyard anyway. I think we get rid of all of these. We try for something better. I want, like, a Polywog Symbiote, really. Uh, we're going to put this on blue, because our opponent might think that we have miscast. I want to let them know that we've potentially got something here by holding priority. Okay. They are sufficiently spooked, I would say. Nice and slow from them. Uh, let's go with... Why would you do this? Let's go with See the Truth. This means I can flash in Sea Dasher Octopus. Ooh, we do have a miscast, though. Um, so I'm flashing in Sea Dasher Octopus on end step into Omen Paths, Mutate Omen Paths, Mutate Rodan. We get Valakut's Awakening and Omen Paths. So let's take Sea Dasher Octopus as the cheap and Mutate. I think that's the right call. I've got something, opponent. <laughs> what could it be? All right. So let's flash you in. They might have like eliminates and things like that. I'm going to give them the chance to use them, I suppose. Okay. Give you the chance to use it. You don't want me drawing cards. We all know that. An X3. That's a bit of an oof. Uh, can I win off from that, though? Potentially. So now they're tapped out, I can... Omen Paths leaves me with four, six mana. I'm going to use three of it. Oh, this deck... Seven mana, actually. I think we've got enough. Red. Blue. Play. Rodan. Put this on 
red. Rodan again. Either way. This gives me Omen Paths for a recast. And it gives me See the Truth for card draw. Card draw, please. Baby Godzilla. Okay, add two mana. Blue. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we control Z? Nope. Maybe not. Uh, okay, that's fine. It's honestly fine. Uh, then we get to go Baby Godzilla. Sea Dasher Octopus again. We've won. We can't lose now. We almost made a mistake, but we've got we've got enough mana here. So I'm gonna draw three more cards. I'm going to generate more mana. This mana is gonna go on black blue. Gonna draw three cards. Sea Dasher Octopus. Uh, we're going to then. I think this ensures that we can't lose. So let's do this first. I think it's drawing enough cards that we can't possibly lose from that point. Uh, over. So let's... Omen Paths. Draw three cards. It's possible that Valakut's Awakening draws us more cards at this point. I haven't really checked. I probably should check. All right, now we go with Hemophage. It definitely draws us more cards now. So let's do Hemophage. Uh, discard. Uh, either way, we've got Lethal set up. So we mutate for four. Our opponent sees the writing on the wall. The other difference between uh, See the Truth and Valakut's Awakening, once we've got this many cards, is that this draws us cards. This replaces them. So we can't really deck ourselves necessarily with Valakut's Awakening. We're just putting the cards back to the bottom and just cycling through the deck, uh, churning through it over and over again like a spinning wheel of value. But this would draw us uh, three cards every time. So this will be three plus the loot off of this. That'd be four and then five with the Dreamtail Heron. So we'd be drawing five every loop. So if we're doing Valakut's Awakening to dig for what we need instead, uh, then we're forfeiting. Uh, at least three of that five card draw, so it gives us more time to flex around, find the cards we need, and ensure we still don't whiff. I mean, at this point, double Heron and well, double Mutate here is more than enough to get us there anyway, because I think, yeah, we're draining for four, then five, then six. So, you know, everything we draw off of that should be sufficient. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video anyway, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, I'd really appreciate if you do hit that like button and subscribe. And then without further ado, going to leave it off here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and good night.